Welcome to Sandra tutorial. To whom it may can earn, rate decreases due the rate payers since July 31, 2017 March 29, 2018. If the Senate will not help us, the rate payers, then the rate payers of CNG, not the stockholders, can do it for ourselves. We can remove the 34% off our electric rates on our own bills and simply not pay it. And with each new month, not pay the charges that will be placed by scanner on the unpaid amounts. But we can do it. And we should. The Senate is not willing to do what's right because of stockholder benefits that will be jeopardized. But the ratepayers need to be taken care of first and foremost. We know that Scanner is the one who supplied the Public Service Commission, the House and the Senate with the figure of 18% but that figure was never substantiated or proven to be accurate. I supplied the above entities with proof that the figure taken from the ratepayers today and each day we go forward is near 34% and I showed the figures to back it up. However, my proof has been ignored and Scanner's, who have been untrustworthy all through this, 18% has been taken as truth. That needs to stop now. The latest number being bandied about concerning rate cutbacks is 13% and again, that number was introduced by Scanner with no proof or substantiation behind it. We, the ratepayers, want our 34% to stop now. We need it to stop now. It is insulting that Scanner professes that they can tolerate a 13% cut in the rate increases. Really, really? What about the ratepayers that could not tolerate the 34% rate increases and literally had to move out of the CNG service area to be able to afford their electric or eat? What about the 10 years of complaints that ratepayers have placed before CNG and the PSC about the rates being too high? What about the seniors who have gone without their medications just to keep the electric on in their homes? What about the real estate market that finds people unwilling to purchase homes in the CNG area? What about the ratepayers? A 13% reduction in rates is an absolute insult to the ratepayers. A 13% reduction is not enough. That still leaves 21% of free money going to scanner and out of the ratepayers' pockets. You must understand that the 34% rate increases have not been for consumption, although scanner would have you believe it is. It was introduced gradually over the last 10 years until it has reached 34%. That money was for the nuclear fiasco, but now that money is just being taken in and given to the stockholders and bonuses etc. That part of the ratepayers bills is not for the electricity used. If that money were to stop totally, the utility, CNG, would still be viable and running. The ratepayers would still be paying for their consumption and that is what runs the utility. The legislation, and even the Public Service Commission have had a very difficult time separating the utility of CNG from the corporation parent company, of Scanner. If Scanner goes bankrupt, CNG would still be running, operating, and paying their employees. The utility would still be able to stand on its own. Scanner needs to cut back its money consumption. A bankruptcy may not be the worst thing that could happen to a corporation that has lost all feeling for the ratepayers that fund them. Sandra Wright